Hello, welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin and today's video is on Zolidex. Zolidex is a medicine used in treating prostate cancer, breast cancer, endometriosis, as well as in IVF treatment. And Zolidex is implanted. So Zolidex contains the active ingredient, gosterilin acetate, which is a type of medicine known as a gonadotrophin or LH or H analog. It works by reducing the production of a testosterone in men and estrogen in women. The pituitary gland is a gland hidden in the center of the brain that produces many different hormones. Gosserilin acts on the pituitary gland in the same way as natural hormone called gonadotrophin. Gonadotrophin causes the pituitary gland to, cert to release certain sex hormones. So initially, gosserilin causes the pituitary gland to release more of the sex hormones. However, over time, continued administration of gosserilin desensitizes the pituitary gland. This means that the pituitary gland starts to produce less and less of these sex hormones. The reduced levels of sex hormones can be exploited to treat disorders that are linked to levels of estrogen or t testosterone. The lowered levels of sex hormones slow down the growth and shrink tumours stimulated by oestrogen or testosterone, such as breast cancer or prostate cancer. In endometriosis, a condition where uterine tissue is found outside the uterus, endometrial tissue is stimulated by oestrogen, so reducing oestrogen levels will stop the growth of this tissue. The Zolidex implant is injected under the skin of the abdomen and from where it steadily releases gosserilin into the bloodstream over a four-week period. The Zolidex implant is usually injected once every 28 days on average. However, your frequency of dosage may vary depending on your personal circumstances. Zolidex should not be given to pregnant women, children or women with undiagnosed vaginal bleeding. If you're pregnant, be sure to discuss this with your doctor. However, when Zolidex is used in fertility treatment, the available evidence shows that it does not cause any abnormalities in egg development or on the outcome of any pregnancy that results from the treatment. As it affects hormone levels, Zolidex is not recommended for use during breastfeeding. It's important to tell your doctor what other medicines you're taking, including herbal supplements, as they may not be compatible with Zolidex. Some of these include certain antidepressants, antimicrobials, and anti-malarials. Some side effects of Zolidex include hot flushes, sweating, reduced sex drive and weight gain. Of course side effects will vary depending on the sex of the patient. So then this is not a complete list of the possible side effects. For more you should go to my website lynchespharmacy.com and remember all medicines have potential side effects but this doesn't mean that you'll experience them. That brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through lynchespharmacy.com. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.